Well, John, I think you and I are going to talk about a plant that is more beloved for its leaf or leaflets or whatever That's yeah, right. I'm going to learn yeah, than its flower. And I guess it's the plant that we associate with this with green Saint day. St. Patrick's yeah. Day. And a lot of people hear about the shamrock plant. And we're going to talk about shamrocks. Okay. And um, I have brought some herbarium specimens that we'll look at, but also a little bit of show and tell. And the first one I want to show is a lot of people call this shamrock, and sometimes it's marketed that way. Um, and it's got a, a, a leaf that has three leaflets, always three leaflets. Right. And then this particular one would have either a, a sort of pale purple or maybe pink flower, a star-shaped flower. And that's the cultivated one. Now there's another species of this thing that we can call shamrock that looks like this. And I know a lot of people have this in their yard. And a lot of people talk bad about it, and I guess they should. <laughs> but this was originally grown for ornament, and now it's mostly a weed. But oh. this is also what people call shamrock and sometimes. And let's show this pretty leaf. That's right. So this particular species will have bright pink flowers mm -hmm. that are star-shaped as well. And what's really cool underneath the ground, and let me, I'll get Tony's knife here, and maybe cut this so that we can we can see the um, finger being sliced open or something. And um, cut this open. Look at us, a very massive structure here. It's sort of like, boy, I might cut myself. Um, beads on a string. It does look that way. In a way. Like but these every, are, see like how hard those are? Ooh, it is hard. And look at that on the inside. Very, wow. very solid. Uh huh. Very that solid happens. tissue. Uh huh. And, um, well, turn and what's it this the way botanical a bit. name for that well, type of tissue? This is a, these are corms. So this is a storage structure. Storage okay. structure. We didn't talk about it the other. The other we didn't week get this one, on. but we did talk about storage <laughs> structures. Okay. Sort of like a. a um, this is the one on gladiolus. Gladiolus has a corm. These are like they're all strung together, and of course the youngest one will be next to the the leafy end of the. And when I thing. find that in my garden, Tony, I try to pull it up from the bottom because otherwise. I feel like it's just going to come back next year. You get, actually, you break those off and then right. you get more coming. And my husband loves that, but I've heard it harbors spider mites. Have you heard that? Yes, it does. It does. It, it, and it actually is one of the worst weeds that we have on yeah. this earth. Anyway. But it's pretty. So <laughs> That's let's pretty. go. So that is a shamrock. So, and the, what's important now is for everybody to understand that this genus, the, what we've looked at so far, is the genus Oxalis. Oxalis. And it's called, uh, oh. that's where we get this, um, the, this name for this chemical, oxalic acid. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we chew on these, and Tony probably wants to chew on some. Mm -hmm. He's already been sneezing. I wouldn't get him to do that. Is that it'll have a sour <laughs> taste. Not too bad, though. It tastes, yeah. It, Tastes a lot like wood, like uh, red, yellow sorrel. I was going to say sorrel. Like, like, like sour weed. Yeah, sour yeah. weed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people in Mac <laughs> used to walk around and have sour weed. The Baptist was anyway, something to do. It. Okay. It's oxalis. O x a l i s. Okay. But the true shamrock, the uh -huh. one that the Irish people made such a fuss over, and that St. Patrick was. I probably have some with. on my teeth. On my teeth now. We'll get you associate with St. Patrick is in the bean family, and it is a member of the clover genus. Oh, okay. And that nice man called from clover just yeah. a minute ago. And this is it. That's so a this is water clover. I need to drink some water. That's a like this, white clover that comes from my yard. That's just plain old white clover. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Now this is native to Ireland. Uh, it's not native to our part of the world, but it does produce... We sure have it here now, though. Oh, yeah, and it's a great plant for uh, improving soil and... And it has three leaflets on a leaf, too. That's right, and every now and then you'll find... A four. Four, and that's what you want, a four-leaf clover. A four. Four leaflets, though, not four leaves. But, uh, yeah, you're right. But everybody just yeah. says, yeah. Okay. And so but this, we want to be right. But this species is Trifolium repens, okay. and that's the, this is apparently the true clover that um, we call shamrock. All right. And this one is native to? Uh, Europe. Europe. 
All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have some clovers that are native to the United States? We have. We do have some. Um, a lot of a lot of introduced species. Mm -hmm. I see that red stuff on the highway and all. Right. That. That's another introduced uh, one. Well, they're mighty pretty. I oh, they're gorgeous. Them. And the bees mm -hmm. seem to like them. Love okay. Them. Well, John, I'm glad y'all have herbarium specimens or any of those from Europe. Mm -hmm. Are they? Oh yeah. In fact. Um, the, the, what you're seeing now on the screen, those are all uh, clovers, and they're all introduced except for the one, uh, well, they're all introduced, sure mm -hmm. enough, in South Carolina. Isn't that something? All, yeah. And we don't think of those as being bad. Some mm -hmm. people don't like them in Well, they're lawns. not necessarily r real terrible, but they are not native. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they, you know, who knows, they might get out of control, mm -hmm. but they're so useful for forage and for critters and mm -hmm. silage, and, I guess. And I guess, as a, and did they fix nitrogen in the oh, soil? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, John, thank you for that um, little lesson on the shamrock, and um, I hope that you will find many four leafleted clovers in your I'll, expeditions in the woods. I look forward to it this Okay. This Thanks so much. <laughs>